Since premiering on TLC in January 2015, My Big Fat Fabulous Life has become one of the network's biggest success stories. After going viral on YouTube, the show's star Whitney Thor was able to translate her popularity to the small screen. Along with her family and closest friends, she has been raking in the ratings ever since. I'm short, I'm fat, I'm cute. <laughs> No matter how authentic it seems, however, there are some dark secrets hiding behind the scenes of the uplifting show. Real or scripted? A major part of Whitney's appeal is her ability to be incredibly real about all aspects of her life, both good and bad. However, some fans believe that not everything on My Big Fat Fabulous Life is as legit as it seems. Speculation about the show's authenticity began when a fan took to Reddit to point out a fishy scene from the ninth episode of season 4 that seemed a little too perfect. They speculated, around the time that Whitney hit the wall in her 8K fun run, she encounters a woke stranger with some heavy words of motivation. John from the army just happens to be mic'd up for the race, and he's wearing a shirt from Whitney's alma mater, Appalachian State University. Is that a coincidence? He went on to add that if you watch carefully, you can even see the microphone under the guy's shirt. Fellow viewers immediately began pointing out another questionable incident from season 3, recalling, The guy who was mic'd up and ready to insult her on camera at the Pride Parade last season wasn't even convincing. It was the most uncomfortable, fake insult I've ever seen. What did he just say? What did he say? Not so fabulous past. The happy, self-assured Whitney fans see on the small screen these days is a far cry from the middle school Whitney who suffered great pain at the hands of unrelenting bullies. In her 2016 memoir, I Do It With The Lights On, the reality star revealed that her young life couldn't have felt any less fabulous. Despite growing up in a loving home and excelling in academics, she was taunted. The boys had taken to singing a song about me called Baby Beluga that ended with, she's got a whale of a tail. The following year, she went through a growth spurt and slimmed down, but the teasing didn't stop. The Baby Beluga song was replaced with one that mocked her last name. She wrote, I'm not sure which one I thought was worse, but I was happy to swap being fat for being practically anything else. The truth about Lenny Not all is as it seems when it comes to Whitney's ex, Lenny. Just days after fans learned that the reality TV star had gotten pregnant, they were heartbroken to find out that doctors had dubbed it a non-viable pregnancy. Soon after, they were in for another shock as it was revealed that Lenny has a criminal past and has been using a fake name all along. This is not a good sign for Lenny and me. According to Radar Online, Lenny was arrested for driving while intoxicated in November 2008 after authorities in North Carolina found he was three times over the legal blood alcohol limit. According to court documents, he also got into a fight with the arresting officers. But that's not all. Lenny isn't even his real name. It's an alias for Nathaniel David Lee. More skeletons in the closet Whitney's ex isn't the only cast member from My Big Fat Fabulous Life with a dark past. Her best friend and former roommate, Buddy Bell, whose real name is Luby, also has a few secrets. As a Radar Online investigation revealed, Bell was arrested in 2014 and charged with a number of serious crimes after allegedly assaulting a police officer at a Queens of the Stone Age concert on January 30, 2014. Bell was not only charged with assaulting a government official, but also with second-degree trespassing, resisting a public officer, public intoxication, and disorderly conduct. When all was said and done, he was fined $380 and given 45 days of probation for disorderly conduct. Haters abound. Living in the public eye comes with plenty of unsolicited scrutiny. Trolls are unavoidable in the age of social media, but one of Whitney's biggest critics was an individual claiming to be a doctor. Taking to social media in February 2017, Whitney shared an unbelievable piece of hate mail she received from somebody claiming to be a California MD who wrote, There is nothing about your life that is fabulous. When you are a big fat sow as you are, it's a disgusting existence. You need to get out of denial and do something about your extreme obesity. While Whitney revealed the name on the letter does belong to a real doctor, fans were quick to point out that the lack of professional letterhead, egregious grammatical errors, and the general tone of the letter make it seem less like something a real doctor would send and more like something a troll impersonating a doctor might. Unfortunately for Whitney, there are a lot of bullies online, but the reality star stays away from them whenever possible. Although she admitted she doesn't like to spend time blocking trolls or deleting negative comments, she unapologetically declared that sometimes it's the only way. She wrote on Instagram in April 2018, 
My digital spaces are also my home, they're mine. No one is stopping you from shouting your hate or opinions into the ether, but when you come into my space, I can make you leave. This doesn't mean I can't handle a contrary opinion, it means I take no stock in your opinion and it's a necessary noise. Eating Disorder Struggles Whitney has been honest about her struggles with her weight, which stems from polycystic ovary syndrome. But as she admitted in 2015, she still feels embarrassed talking about her eating disorder. During National Eating Disorder Awareness Week, she shared with fans, I have no problem being completely open about most things, but this is difficult for me. Because I was never underweight, many people in my life were unaware that I was both starving and purging day in and day out, completely consumed with being thin enough so that I would never be called fat. The star further revealed that when she was 15, she was about 120 pounds, and in the throes of her eating disorder. At 18, she began fighting it, but revealed, in 2012, I lost 100 pounds in 8 months, and I was still restricting calories to sometimes 500 per day, and purging at least once a week. I weighed 250 pounds. The star revealed that because she was classified as morbidly obese, her eating disorder was easily hidden from the world, but that didn't make it any less real. If you are struggling with an eating disorder, contact the National Eating Disorders Association for support, resources, and treatment options. Call the toll-free confidential helpline at 1-800-931-2237.